Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a new beer from Cigar City. This is Frostproof. Uh, this is Belgian style white and you might already ask me, wait, Darwin, they already make a Belgian style white which is called Florida Cracker. Um, yeah, pretty much they made a 6% version of that beer from what I understand. It is literally Belgian style white. It's got orange peel, it's got coriander. Um, this was, oh wow, this is not even that fresh. This was canned uh, two and a half months ago. But hey, 6% instead of five, the style, Guidelines stick to what four five to five five. So this is a little bit elevated. So they think that maybe we mentioned on the website. It's like yeah, we want a little bit larger on the beer. Um, ideally, you know, a little bit more flavor impact, obviously. Um, so it's like an imperial bit beer. Let's see how this guy goes. So the beer is quite nice and light. Uh, this is actually one of the lightest styles on BJCP. I think it's like yeah, two two to four SRM. Uh, they say this one is actually at five. Yeah, I sort of see that. It's like verging on. It's really light golden and maybe. And not straw. Head in nice white, uh, pretty dense, tiny bubble. Pretty nice, yeah. And by the way, uh, when I did the, I did a bit beer tasting. Yeah, I did a bit beer tasting. Um, check that out up there. It, it did the, I mean, my favorite one was Florida Cracker. And that's not a huge surprise considering A, uh, Cigar City makes great stuff, but also the brewery is like less than two hours from me. So fresh beer, tasty stuff, right? But yeah, it's quite nice. You get that kind of um, sweet, uh, orangey character. There's that like, um, which kind of coriander is it here? It's a little bit herbal, a little bit spicy, right? It's slightly savory, actually. Like, well, yeah, a little bit savory kind of coriander note here. Pretty nice. A little bit of like that crackery wheat, um, like multi wheat uh, character on there. Cheers. Mm, quite nice. So. I mean, woulda, coulda, shoulda. I probably should've picked up a can of the 5%, the, the Florida Cracker to do side by side. Uh, didn't get a chance to do that, so I'm just doing a short review of this guy, but let me tell you, it's pretty tasty. Um, I would say in general, it is not as crisp and snappy as that beer, and also not as doughy. It, I mean, it just seems like, I feel like it tastes like it has a little bit more malt character. Yeah. Uh, with the aroma, where it was like a savory, maybe kind of like a herbal character or coriander. Here I get the more traditional kind of soapy soapy. Um, it's not super intense and bad, but you know, it's coriander. So uh, some people hate, hate it, some people like it. There's multiple types of coriander out there. So you're gonna get different ranges of flavors of what you get out of the coriander. Um, this one's got that little bit of like um, potpourri, soapy coriander note in there. Not overly dominant, but quite nice. Um, the malt character is doughy, leaning on a little bit of bready uh, malt in there. Uh, it has a nice crispness to it. The alcohol is somewhat noticeable at 6%. It's quite nice. Um, what I get here is that it verges like it's almost like you got a really nice kind of refreshing Belgian bit beer. And then you let's just like dose a little bit of Saison or Belgian Golden Strong or Triple in there. It just has a little bit more chew and heft to it. Um, again, not like a 50-50 mix, but just like, you know, just a splash of it. Cause it does have that, you know, familiar kind of Belgian character and just a little bit more malt and length to it. So it's just like, you know, uh, again, you just doctored up your really light, crisp, refreshing, you know, 5% Belgian Vit beer and just like um, played around with it a little bit. The orange peel is not as obvious as I think some other examples. Um, you get a little bit of the bitterness on the back end from the orange peel. Obviously, they have a little bit of hopping too. Um, as I drink it more, you also get this really nice kind of, um, excuse me, um, isole amyl acetate character. So as I wait more, that kind of banana f um, um, flavor uh, comes in. So again, that note is very, I mean, very prominent in um, Hefeweizen. You get it in uh, some Vit beers and some it's very intense, like uh, Omegang is a great example of that. Here it's actually decently noticeable. So I think you maybe get a little bit more banana character than uh, some of your other Vit beers. And then the banana character is a little bit more obvious in some other Belgian styles. So again, it's just like, you know, You've, you've, you've blended a little bit of um, vit beer out of that, just a hair out of it. So it's actually quite nice. Um, 
super tasty. I would maybe just go for Florida Cracker just being how refreshing it is. Like, but um, if you want a little less Vit beer character and want to lean a little bit more towards like elevated alcohol, and I think a lot of people are looking for that these days, they want to get their job done when they're uh, drinking craft beer, uh, 6% is pretty good. You know, I, I, I think some people may be, you know, again, a lot of people lean on like Gold Monkey and, 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 and uh, triples and all this other stuff to like, you know, eight, nine, 10%, but six right there, quite nice. Um, this is good beer. Let's go with this solid. It's fine. Um, eighty-seven, eighty-seven. Uh, Cigar City Frostbite. Very good beer. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think later.